Yeah, well, I had a pretty interesting experience down your neck of the woods, down there in Nashville. Uh, I and my band and John and his band went up to Hazard, Kentucky and played for benefit. And so I got to play on the Grand Old Opry. And this is what I played down there. If I were a carpenter and you were a lady Wopat's love of music far preceded his interest in stunts and car chases. He sang his way from high school in Wisconsin to summer stock in the New York stage, then to the hearts of a nation on Dick Clark's Great American Sing-Along. If I were a carpenter and you were a lady You're really probably as interested in your music career as you are in your acting career. At least. <laughs> Why? that interest. Singing actually was the primary thing and I learned the acting to back that up on stage and then this thing just came out of the blue. I, I was, uh, I read for it on a, on a Tuesday morning, flew out that night, I had a screen test Thursday night and I had the part on Friday. So these stories are true about the crazy way people become yeah, stars. Yeah, I think, I think, I think television is probably, uh, the, it happens more than in any other part of the business. I think television, you can really go for a look and uh, just a charisma you know, or a, a chemistry of two people on camera, like John and I, that's basically why I'm here. They're not really too concerned whether you can say your lines or whether you can walk and chew gum at the same time, as long as you look all right on camera together. With the status of his return to Dukes for a fifth year still a question mark in so many minds, Wopat, who often does his own stunts before the camera, has a private dedication to keeping fit. Racquetball games at least twice a week. One still has to wonder if it's also Luke Duke who this early summer just might be getting in shape for September. <laughs> 